storyboard feature in iMovie, there are some additional things that you can do if you want to customize these. So let's jump into iMovie and start up a new project. Jump into our storyboards and let's choose how it works as an example here. Now you can go through your initial choice of styles that you want to use, but let's have a look at the storyboard itself and how you can make this bespoke depending on the scaffold you want to create for your learners. So you'll notice straight away on the left hand side we have this range of topic areas here. It kind of breaks down each of those individual sections. Now you might not want each section to be titled in this way. Now they are only a guide so this is the place where you would just scaffold the learning for the students but what you can simply do here is choose that title and then change the title. So for example, if I was going to do one for sport, if I was creating a video as um, an activity kind of guide that coaches could follow, for example, I might change this to warm up. And then this might be a skill intro. Moving on then, we might go into small sided drill. Might be small game. And then warm down or cool down. And now I've just created that overview. So I've just scaffolded that for whoever's going to be using this as a project. Now, obviously, everything else stays exactly the same. So when you're inside this as an activity, you simply go in and, and obviously choose your videos, etc., and, and customize it in the way that you need to customize it by going into those things from editing the clip. You have all those same things in there, and it doesn't really matter that you've added or changed any of those titles for the sections. You still have that full control here, and it hasn't impacted on any of the actual work. But back on the storyboard, it does provide that student with the overview. Now, you can't save this as a template within iMovie, but what you can do is by choosing our share icon under options, share it as a project and at that point then you could either airdrop it share it to students through any of your sharing uh, tools you might have and equally save it to files on your device as a template so i could jump into files here save it on my device and there we go i've now saved that as a template all constructed in the way that i want it laid out now again i've done this for pe you could do this for absolutely anything based on the structure that you want to create for students in your class. And always remember, you can add in additional sections should you want to by adding in additional clips at any point if you want to make that scaffold a little bit larger. So there we go, how to make bespoke custom storyboards for students in your classes.